your first step in Brazilian Portuguese and it's just a basic knowledge about the language that I consider important and some facts and differences between English and Portuguese. First, we're going to learn basic vocabulary, words that I consider important that we use in daily conversation and you should know. Oi, oi, we say hi. Oi, oi, hi. The letter O has the same sound in the word horse. Horse, o, oi. A, a, hey. A has the same sound as the letter A. Olá, olá, hello. The letter O as in horse. Com certeza, com certeza, of course, sim, sim, yes, não, não, no, tudo bem, tudo bem, all right. Está tudo bem, está tudo bem. It's all right. Foi mal. Foi mal. My bad. It's informal. You use this with friends and maybe your family. Eu sinto muito. Eu sinto muito. I'm so sorry. Minha vez. Minha vez. My turn. Bom dia. Bom dia. Good morning. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Good afternoon. Boa noite. Boa noite. The same of saying good evening and good night. Because we use boa noite in both situations. So, how we use boa noite in Brazil? For greeting someone when it is dark outside, usually after 6 or 7 p.m. Also, when you are wishing someone a good nighttime sleep. When your son is going to bed, for example, you can wish him or her boa noite. Also used for saying goodbye to someone in the evening. As you can see, we use boa noite when we are entering a place, also when we are leaving a place or wishing someone a good night time. Café da manhã. Café da manhã. Breakfast. Almoço. Almoço. Lunch. Jantar. Jantar. Dinner. Meu nome é Tatiana. Meu nome é Tatiana. You can use your name here instead of mine. My name is Tatiana. Eu me chamo Tatiana. Eu me chamo Tatiana. I am called Tatiana. Eu sou Tatiana. Eu sou Tatiana. I am Tatiana. In all those cases, you can 
use your name instead of mine. Qual é o seu nome? Qual é o seu nome? What is your name? Como você se chama? Como você se chama? How are you called? Both questions. I want to know your name. De onde você é? De onde você é? Where are you from? Eu sou do Brasil. Eu sou do Brasil. I am from Brazil. Quantos anos você tem? Quantos anos você tem? How old are you? Qual a sua idade? Qual a sua idade? What's your age? Eu tenho 30 anos. Eu tenho 30 anos. I am 30 years old. Don't think about the number. I am going to do a video about numbers in Portuguese. Basically, now you know how to say your age. Prazer em te conhecer. Prazer em te conhecer. Nice to meet you. Prazer em conhecê-lo. Prazer em conhecê-lo. Nice to meet you for man. When you are talking with a man. Prazer em conhecê-la. Prazer em conhecê-la. Nice to meet you for a woman. Prazer conhecer você. Prazer conhecer você. Nice to meet you. This one... And this one are more used than this and this. Foi ótimo conhecer você. Foi ótimo conhecer você. It was a pleasure meeting you. Também, também, too. So, we can say nice to meet you, too. So, in all these sentences... You can add também at the end of them to say that you too feel that way. Bem-vindo, bem-vindo. Welcome for a man. You're talking with a man. Bem-vindos, bem-vindos. Welcome for more than one man or men and women together. Bem-vinda, bem-vinda, welcome for a woman. Bem-vindas, bem-vindas, welcome for more than one woman. As you can see in Portuguese, we have words with gender. So, things Objects has to have a gender. And now I'm going to talk about some differences between Portuguese and English. And if you are going to learn Spanish, Spanish is quite similar to Portuguese. So those rules apply to Spanish too. First, we have feminine, masculine, singular, and plural. The word all in English is neutral, but in Portuguese, no way. We have all these words to represent just one word in English. We can say tudo. It's kind of neutral, but it's not actually neutral. It's because of the sentences. Todo, masculine, singular. Toda, feminine, singular. Todos, masculine, plural. Todas, feminine, plural. 
verbs conjugations. In English, it's way more easy to learn verbs because it's the conjugations are easy. There is a pattern in most of the time, but in Portuguese and in Spanish, no, it does not happen. I say in English, I want, while in Portuguese, eu quero. You want, você quer. We want, nós queremos. They want, eles querem. The verb in English stays the same, but in Portuguese, it changes. Be prepared for it, because verbs conjugations are hard. Adjectives and nouns. Usually, in English, adjectives comes before the nouns, but in Portuguese, the adjectives comes after the noun. In English, we say blue sky, but in Portuguese, we say something like sky blue, céu azul, azul blue, céu sky. Diacritics. Also, in Portuguese, we have diacritics. First, we have this, which is called acento agudo. It's used for all vowels. This is the opposite. It's called crase. crase. Since I know, we only use for the letter A. This circunflexo. Circunflexo. Usually used with the letter E, O, and A. Você, bonus, lâmpada. It gives the, the vowel a stronger sound. This one gives the vowel a open sound. Your mouth open more. This one, til, til. Usually in this kind of constructions, A with O, O with E and S, and just A. Coração, corações, São Paulo, maçã. And cedilha, which is the letter C, with, uh, with this. Uh, only letter C, which gives letter C and S sound as the word licença S, S, C equals S. It's kind of an extra letter. More sentences. Como vai você? Como vai você? How's it going? Como você está? Como você está? How are you? Eu estou bem. Eu estou bem. I am fine. Está tudo bem. Está tudo bem. Everything is fine. Obrigado. Obrigado. Thank you. If you are a man. So, if you are a man, you should say with the letter O. Obrigada, obrigada, thank you, if you are a woman. In daily conversation, people don't really know these rules, but basically, you should say this way, but you can use both. Muito obrigado, muito obrigado, or muito obrigada, muito obrigada, thank you very much. Me desculpa, me desculpa, I'm sorry, com licença, com licença, excuse me. Eu agradeço, eu agradeço, I appreciate it. Alô, alô, hello, on the phone, when you answer the phone, say alô. 
Quem fala? Quem fala? Who's calling? Qual é o seu endereço? Qual é o seu endereço? What is your address? Qual é o seu número de telefone? Qual é o seu número de telefone? What is your phone number? Nome completo. Nome completo. Full name. Primeiro nome. Primeiro nome. First name. Sobrenome. Sobrenome. Surname. Pronomes pessoais. Subject pronouns. Eu. Eu. I. Você. Você. You. Ele. Ele. He. Ela. Ela. She. Nós. Nós. We. Vocês. Vocês. You. Eles. Eles. Plural form of he. Elas. Elas. Plural form of she. Which is equal they. But they are neutral. In Portuguese, we don't have neutral in this case. Or we say eles or elas. As quatro estações do ano. The four seasons for the year. Or of the year. Primavera. Primavera. Spring. Verão. Verão. Summer. Outono. Outono. Autumn. Inverno. Inverno. Winter. Datas. Datas, dates. I am going to use Christmas date to explain about the construction of datas or dates in Portuguese. All right. In Brazil, we use this or this pattern. Uh, day 25, month 12, and the year. Or this way. But in, in US, since I know, is the opposite. The month comes first, second the day, and in last we have the year. In Brazil, no. It's day, month, and year. When we just say the month and the year, or we use this way or this way. The beginning of the month and the year. About writing, we write this way. 25 de dezembro de 2022. Which is the same of saying December 20. 50th, 2022. In English, it's common to use ordinal numbers, but in Portuguese, we do not use this. We do not use ordinal numbers for dates except for day one. Yes, day one, we use it. So, usually, people say primeiro de abril, which means a April 1st. Here, primeiro de dezembro. December 1st. So, only day one we use ordinal number. The rest, no. Transporte. Transportation. Bicicleta. Bicicleta. Some people call bike also, it's informal, bike, 
bicycle, bike, bicicleta elétrica, bicicleta elétrica, electric bike. It's basically a bike with an engine. Ônibus, ônibus. Some people use busão, busão, which is very informal, but young people use it a lot. Bus, carro, carro, car, van, 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 moto, moto, motorcycle, caminhão, caminhão, truck, avião, avião, airplane, taxi, 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 Uber, 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 barco, barco, boat, helicóptero, helicóptero, helicopter, trem, trem, train, metrô, metrô, subway. Dias da semana, Days of the week. Domingo, domingo, Sunday, segunda-feira, segunda-feira, Monday, terça-feira, terça-feira, Tuesday, quarta-feira, quarta-feira, Wednesday, quinta-feira, quinta-feira, Thursday, sexta-feira, sexta-feira, Friday, sábado, sábado, Saturday. In English, the first letter is capital or capitalized, but in Portuguese, no. As you can see, since Monday until Friday, we have this ending, feira. But in daily conversation, we don't use it. We just say segunda, terça, quarta. Meses do ano. Months of the year. Janeiro. Janeiro. January. Fevereiro. Fevereiro. February. Março. Março. March. Abril, abril, April, maio, maio, May, junho, junho, June, julho, julho, July, agosto, agosto, August, setembro, setembro, September, outubro, outubro, October, novembro, novembro, November, dezembro, dezembro, December. As you can see, the first letter is not capitalized. Now, cores, cores, colors. Blue, we say azul, azul. Red, vermelho, vermelho, vermelho. Yellow, amarelo, amarelo. Purple, roxo, roxo. White, branco, branco. Black, preto, preto. Beige, bege, bege. Green, verde, verde. Orange, laranja, laranja. Pink, rosa, rosa. Violet, lilás, lilás. Or violeta, violeta. Brown, 
Marrom. Marrom. Gray. Cinza. Cinza. Z, z, cinza. Gold. Dourado. Dourado. Hot pink. Rosa choque. Rosa choque. Salmon. Salmão. Salmão. Light blue. Azul claro. Azul claro. Dark blue. Azul marinho. Or azul escuro. Escuro. Azul marinho or azul escuro. When the color is light, we use claro. The color is dark, we use escuro. Fatos, facts. More facts about each language. In English, we say, it is a beautiful car. In Portuguese, we say, é um carro bonito. It, dummy pronoun, or used for things and animals. But in, but in Portuguese, we don't have this pronoun. We only use a verb or a demonstrative pronoun. So we use this or that or those, but not it. Since the verbs in Portuguese change a lot and when you are looking to the verb, you know which person you're talking about because verbs change by conjugation. It doesn't occur with English. Basically, in Portuguese, we cut it and we just use this part. So, basically, we use is a beautiful car. Is a beautiful car. But we do not put it. We use just the verb. Is, verb to be, third person. In Portuguese, the same thing. É, ver, verb ser, third person. The verb to be, in Portuguese, are represented by two verbs. Verb ser, but also a verb called estar. A means one, it's an oracle. In Portuguese, we have um for masculine words, uma for feminine words. We also have plural forms of this, but in daily conversation, it's rare to hear them. Basically, you put an S at the end of them. We call things as he or she, so we have gender. That's why we have masculine and feminine. Car in Portuguese is masculine. That's why we use um. Um, masculine. Beautiful car. Adjective plus now. Portuguese, the opposite. Carro bonito. Now and then adjective. A car, one car. Um carro, one. Car is he, masculine. So, car in Portuguese is he, is masculine. The car, specifying. O carro, masculine, we use o. If it was a feminine, we would use a. So, a letter here is the same of the or the. But a in English is article. Um or uma or plural of this. Um, about demonstrative pronoun. So, in Portuguese we say é seu or isso é seu, which means is it yours in this case or is this yours in this case 
just a way to say to you that we don't use it, we don't have it, because we only use the verb conjugated or we use a demonstrative pronoun. Only the verb or a demonstrative pronoun replacing it, since we don't have it in Portuguese. This or these, this singular, these plural, things which are near. We have isso, which is neutral, used for one thing or one object. You should not use isso for people or animals. It is not clear to you. When something is not clear to you. We can also use isto, but it sounds formal and most of the people don't use it. For example, when someone give you money, uh, your sister give you some money and you don't understand why and you can use isso to refer to the money because it's not clear to you it's thing, money, it's a thing. Essa or essas, if we use the letter S, we're talking about the plural form, is feminine. We can also say esta with the letter T, but sound formal. Essa is the same of this, singular. If we add as it's plural, the same of these, it's feminine. We can also use esta with the letter T, but it's formal. Esse, this, or if we use the letter S, esses, these, masculine. We can also use este, which represents when the object is near to the person who is speaking. In grammar, with the letter T, it's referred to the object that I am holding, I am the one who is speaking about it. When the object is near to the person I am talking with, I have to use the letter S, double S, essa, esse, or isso, but in reality, it's not, it doesn't occur. People only use esse, essa, and isso with the letter S. Here we have that, singular, those, plural, far, when something is far, aquilo, Neutral, one thing or one object, it is not clear to you. It's, it doesn't have a gender, so you say you call a kilo. Aquela, that, feminine, aquelas with the letter S, those, feminine but plural, aquele, that, masculine, Aqueles, letter S, those, masculine, but plural. Those are used for things who are far away from you and far away with the person you're talking with. Basically, with the letter T, the thing is near to you, is close to you. With the letter S, the thing is close to the person you're talking with and with the letter Q, aquele, is something that are far away from you and the person you are talking with. Now, more examples with the word cat because in English is neutral, but in Portuguese it doesn't. We have gato with the letter O, which is a male cat. Gata, a female cat. Plural forms, we have 
gatos, cats, male or both male and female together, gatas, cats, only female, plural form. Using demonstrative pronouns. Esse é o seu gato? Is this your cat? Aquele é o seu gato? Is that your cat? Essa é a sua gata? Is this your cat? Aquela é a sua gata? Is that your cat? Esses são os seus gatos? Are these your cats? Aqueles são os seus gatos? Are those your cats? Essas são as suas gatas? Are these your cats? Aquelas são as suas gatas? Are those your cats? There are a lot of neutral words in English, but it does not occur in Portuguese or Spanish. English doesn't really have a grammatical gender as many other languages do. Example, nurse, both female and male. But in Portuguese, we have enfermeiro, male, enfermeira, female. Isso é ruim? Is this bad? Eu não quero falar sobre isso. I do not want to talk about it. It, but we use demonstrative pronoun. Aquilo é o quê? What is that? Você viu aquilo? Did you see that? Adjectives plus nouns. Céu azul. Blue sky. Saia vermelha, red skirt, olhos verdes, green eyes, belo sorriso, beautiful smile, carro velho, old car, sofá marrom, brown couch, água mineral, mineral water. In English, adjectives before nouns. Portuguese, adjectives after nouns. Other constructions. O céu é azul. The sky is blue. A saia é vermelha. The skirt is red. Ele tem olhos verdes. He has green eyes. Ela tem um belo sorriso. She has a beautiful smile. O meu carro é vermelho. My car is old. A cor do meu sofá é marrom. The color of my couch is brown. A água mineral possui benefícios para a saúde? Does mineral water have health benefits? Falando sobre posse. Talking about possession. Possuir means possess. Ser o dono be the owner, male. Ser a dona, be the owner, female. So, how to express possession? Let's see. In Portuguese, we have do or plural dos, da or plural das, which is the same of of the or apostrophe or apostrophe s. We say in Portuguese, livro da Maria. Livro, book, Maria, woman's name. But in English, we use apostrophe and s to represent a possession. So, in, in Portuguese, we have the opposite. So, we use the object 
which is possessed first. In English, we use after. And we use da. In this case, da is feminine because we're talking about a woman. That's why we use da. Livro da Maria, Maria's book. Pote do cachorro, dog's bell. See, the object comes after in English. In Portuguese, comes before. Cachorro, dog, is a masculine word in Portuguese, so we use do. Carro dos vizinhos, neighbor's car. Here we have plural, plural, but is masculine, we use dos. Roupa das mulheres, women's clothing. We have a plural too, and we use das because it's feminine. A casa da Ana e do John é boa. Ana and John's house is nice. Here we have one house and two people who own it. It's represented by an apostrophe and S in the second or last name that appears. But in Portuguese, we have to use da and do. So, casa da Ana and do John. As opiniões da Ana e do João foram diferentes. Ana's and John's opinions were different. Here we have two opinions because Ana has her own opinion and John too. So, plural here and plural here. We're talking about opinions, so opiniões. And we have da Ana e do João. Anna's and John's. O cão da Kelly e do Adam é marrom. Kelly and Adam's dog is brown. We see one dog, two people on it. In Portuguese, da and do. O namorado da Ana e da Maria. Ana and Maria's boyfriend. They share the same boyfriend. You see, in Portuguese, we say o namorado da Ana and da Maria. It means those two women has one boyfriend. They share the same boyfriend. In here, we say o namorado da Ana e o namorado da Maria. Ana's boyfriend and Maria's boyfriend. Each one has her own boyfriend. Os namorados da Ana e da Maria. Ana's and Maria's boyfriends. Each one has their own boyfriend. Próprio, próprios, própria, próprias. On. It's represented by the word on. When something is related to me, to myself. Ele faz suas próprias regras. Ele faz suas próprias regras. He makes his own rules. Eles não conseguem lidar com os próprios filhos. Eles não conseguem lidar com os próprios filhos. They can't handle their own children. Desculpa, mas eu tenho os meus próprios problemas. Desculpa, mas eu tenho os meus próprios problemas. Sorry, but I have my own troubles. Ele dirige o próprio carro. Ele dirige o próprio carro. He drives his own car. Próprios olhos, próprios olhos, own eyes. Verb possuir, also represented by the word own, which means in this case, be the owner. So, possuir means 
be the owner of something or someone. O pai dele possui um restaurante. This word here, cancel it because I, I type it wrong. It should not be here, okay? So this, forget about it. O pai dele possui um restaurante. His father owns a restaurant. So, owns... He possui. Eu possuo um carro. Eu possuo um carro. I own a car. Eu possuo esse carro. I own this car. Eu possuo esse carro. Eu não possuo uma guitarra. Eu não possuo uma guitarra. I don't own a guitar. Both in English and in Portuguese, we just can use the verb have. And now we have the verb have. In Portuguese, it's called ter. The verb ter. Você tem uma boa família. Você tem uma boa família. You have a good family. Eles or elas têm um telefone. Eles têm um telefone. They have a phone. Eu não tenho experiência. Eu não tenho experiência. I have no experience. Eu não posso ter um. Or uma. Eu não posso ter um. I can't have one. Ele tem dores de cabeça constantemente. Ele tem dores de cabeça constantemente. He has headaches often. So, we have a lot of conjugations, but in English, no. Just two types. Now, we're talking about pronomes possessivos. So, in Portuguese, we have those. But in English, no. We have... Possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. This, meu or meus, minha or minha, so masculine, plural, feminine, plural, my, mine, seu, seus, sua, suas, your, yours, dele, dela, his, her, his, hers, nosso, nossos, nossa, nossas, our, ours, deles, delas, their, theirs. Examples. Meu carro. My car. So, possessive adjective. Esse carro é meu. This car is mine. As you can see in... Portuguese, we use a called possessive pronoun in both situations, the same pronoun, but in English, no. Minha casa, my house. Aquela casa é minha. That house is mine. Minha is the feminine of meu. Seu carro, your car, esse carro é seu, this car is yours, sua casa, your house, aquela casa é sua, that house is yours, carro dele, his car, esse carro é dele, this car is his. Casa dela, her house, aquela casa dela, that house is hers. Nosso carro, our car, esse carro é nosso, this car is ours. Nossa casa, our house, aquela casa é nossa, 
That house is ours. Carro deles. Their car. Esse carro é deles. This car is theirs. Casa deles. Their house. Aquela casa é deles. That house is theirs. Uh, as you can see, we use just those, but in English we have those and those. Now we're talking about whose. We say de quem or de quem. Eu penso de quem é isso. I wonder whose this is. Eu penso de quem é isso. De quem é essa bolsa? De quem é essa bolsa? Whose is this bag? De quem são esses livros? De quem são esses livros? Whose books are these? De quem é aquele livro? De quem é aquele livro? Whose book is that? De quem é aquele carro? De quem é aquele carro? Whose car is that? Verb pertencer, in English, belong. Os cavalos pertencem a você? Os cavalos pertencem a você? The horses belong to you? O bebê não pertencia ao Joseph. O bebê não pertencia ao Joseph. The baby didn't belong to Joseph. A quem isso pertence? A quem isso pertence? Who does this belong to? Pertence a mim. Pertence a mim. It belongs to me. Ele pertence a ela. Ele pertence a ela. He belongs to her. He belongs to her. Pertence ao John. Pertence ao John. It belongs to John. In English, the verb stays quite the same, just with the letter S here. But in Portuguese, no, it changes a lot. Uh, no, not that a lot, but yeah, it's different. How much we use quanto, quanto, masculine. If feminine, we use quanta, quanta for uncountable how many quantos quantos masculine plural quantas quantas feminine plural that means countable nouns much muito many muitos Masculine, plural. Muitas, feminine, plural. Examples. Quanto dinheiro você tem? How much money do you have? Quanto dinheiro você tem? Quantas vezes eu tenho que te dizer isso? Quantas vezes eu tenho que te dizer isso? How many times I have to tell this? Quantos livros você comprou? Quantos livros você comprou? How many books did you buy? Nós não temos muito tempo. Nós não temos muito tempo. We don't have much time left. Você pensa que muitas pessoas virão? Você pensa que muitas pessoas virão? Do you think many people will come? O garoto sentiu-se muito envergonhado. O garoto sentiu-se muito envergonhado. The boy felt very much ashamed. In English, we have very, near to much which in Portuguese it's unacceptable because it sounds redundant, redundant. Uh, but it's okay. So, some examples here. Don't try to 
I mean, to remember everything is just for you to know. All right, those were the basics about Portuguese. Of course, it's necessary to learn more, but all the basic that I consider important, I have put it on this video. As you can see, I'm still learning English, so that's why sometimes I speak wrong, but it's okay. I'm here to help you with Brazilian Portuguese. Please subscribe to this channel if you are interested in learn Brazilian Portuguese and see you.